welcome to the British Dapper and today we're going to look at doing what's called a mirror shine or in the UK we know it as bulling or to bull shoes. Okay we've come outside now to see the difference in the shoes so if you remember a few weeks ago we gave the shoes a brush polish this is the first one and as you can see, we've got quite a good shine on them just with the brushes. And the idea is to polish these up a little bit more to get a mirror shine, which is a slightly more glossed effect. And that's a little bit more of a complex task to do. And here we are inside again. Um, and now we're going to look at actually pulling the shoes properly. Now, as you may have remembered from the previous video I did on cleaning shoes, I mentioned about using rubber gloves. Now you can use these in this occasion as well if you wish. However, I tend to just use my hands on this occasion. Also, we've introduced cotton wool balls because I'm going to show you some varied methods of actually pulling shoes. So, as you can recall, this one is the one we've already got the high shine on. And this one's the one we need to do, which is, in this light doesn't look very dissimilar. However, there is a depth in this one compared to the one we've got to do. So setting that to one side, we'll start with this shoe. All we need to do, first of all, is use several layers of uh, the polish. You need a little tub of water with an ice cube in it if you can do that if not the colder the water the better i tend to use kiwi polish only because it's a cost effective way of doing it there are some better versions of polish on the market sophia being one of them but it's a lot more expensive so to start with then what we need to do is get several layers of polish on this toe cap so simply Get some on your hand and rub it into the shoe. Just keep adding layers. Keep going on it and you'll see eventually it starts to dry off a little bit. And then we put another layer on. As the polish dries, you'll feel a little bit of resistance. That's the time to slow down. And leave it to set for a little bit. Leave it for about five minutes. Then we'll add some more polish onto it. So this is a classic example of why you might want to wear the rubber gloves. If you're going out the same day you do this, then obviously this might stain your fingers. Whereas if you wear the rubber gloves, then you can still apply the polish, but also you won't get this staining on your fingers. So we've let them have a few minutes drying time, get another piece of polish on the fingers, and then we start again. And we're just building up the layers now. And we want about seven or eight layers on this. Really build the polish up on the shoe. get too much polish on like I've just done there just keep working it onto the shoe and eventually it will come good and thicken and harden off there we 
go. It's gone drier, more resistance on the fingers there. More polish on. As some people use only a small amount of polish and work it, I tend to use quite a lot and work it in the shoe for longer. There is no set method, okay? Depends on the individual, and depends on their personal style. With this practice, you develop your own method. Okay, what I would suggest is that you leave it for a good 15 minutes to 30 minutes, let it really harden off, and then we'll go into the second stage. Okay, so we've done that a few times now. What we need to do now, I'm going to employ a duster and use that to add more layers on. Now the trick with this, is to be very very gentle with the uh, with this because whilst the polish will react to the friction too much friction will actually end up being abrasive and actually strip the polish off the idea is to build up layers of polish and shine each layer over time so it's a little bit like polishing an egg so this is where the ice water comes into play from this point onwards. So we use the duster, wrap it around the fingers and tighten it so the front of the fingers can be used to dab in the water, dab on the polish. Now the idea is you can go in circles as I do or you can do in long strides swipes okay the point being the water acts like a lubricant so always be very very light when we put the polish on with a cloth As soon as you feel resistance, you use some more water. This time we're only using little dabs of polish on there. very, very gently.
soon as you get a bit of resistance more ice water and a little bit more polish What you'll see is that there'll be a slight transformation in the shoe and you can start to see it shine through a little bit. Now that is the time to put more polish on. If it goes too far, then it will start pulling polish off again because of the coarseness of the cloth. Remember to be very gentle with the cloth. Not too harsh because it will be abrasive and undo all the work you've done. Now you can continue using this method. Um, all the way through until you end up with a finished shine, a high mirror shine. However, I tend to do it for a short period of time and then change to a cotton wool ball instead of a cloth and I use more water on a toe cap like this. So I'll show you that method now. So we get the cotton wool ball, we let it absorb water. We then take a small piece of polish onto the cotton wool ball and then we use that. Now with this method you will need to use more water than before. So it's the same principle as using the uh, cloth. The only difference is you've got a little bit more water uh, being deployed through the actual cotton wool ball. Very gentle pressure on it, not too much. As soon as you get a little bit of resistance, a little bit more polish and a little bit more water. The water is actually what makes things a little bit more smoother. It reduces the friction, it lubricates the polish. A small dab on the polish now. We're looking at very thin layers of polish. Time it takes varies with each pair of shoes. It can take between a couple of hours or an hour up to two or three days, depends how well the polish takes to the leather itself. And you can even find a difference, a variance between each shoe because sometimes they use a different 
cut of leather for a different shoe. They're not always from the same hide. And sometimes you might have to work on one shoe a lot longer than the other. It doesn't take long and it starts to shine through and you can start to see that building up there on the wax. Okay. So we just keep going at this. Small amounts of polish. Light pressure. Don't be afraid to change the cotton wool ball as well. Get a fresh one out. Again, same principle. Make sure it gets a good soaking in the water. Small smear of polish, and then we continue. Any resistance? More water. See, it's starting to build up now, and you can see a better shine on that. Now, with a solid toe cap like this, it's it's okay to use quite a lot of water. The problem is if you're going to do a brogue shoe where you've got lots of perforations in the in the shoe itself, then the water can actually cause problems by actually the leather gets too wet, and then the polish gets pulled off every time you polish it. With, with the actual cotton wool ball or with even with a cloth. So less water in that case and be a lot more gentler with your um, actions, not too much pressure. Otherwise you just keep pulling the polish off that you put on before. So this is called the water bull. I'm going to show you another variation of that now, uh, where we're going to do it over a sink with a running tap. Um, it's the same principle, the only difference is instead of the cotton wool ball constantly being dipped in the water, we've got water run directly onto the toe cap whilst we gently polish with the actual cotton wool ball. So we get a lot more fluid going onto the toe cap whilst we do our circular actions. So we'll go to the sink now. Okay, so what we need to do now is to continue polishing with the cotton wool ball and the polish, but this time we're gonna introduce a little bit of running water. The idea is that the water is cold, runs onto the toe cap, just a light drizzle. And then we just add a little bit of polish. Very light pressure. And just keep going around in circles, just like we were before. This time though, we've got the water going directly on there, constantly giving some lubrication.
Again, don't be afraid to change the cotton wool ball. Wet it up. Small piece of polish. And then we start all over again. Okay, when you get to a certain level and you want to stop, all you need to do is squeeze the cotton wool ball until you get a nice sharp crisp edge which is squeezed dry. Then you use the edge to actually go into the welt and draw all the water out of the welt. The reason why we do that is because when the water dries off sometimes it leaves a lime scale residue and it can also leave marks on the actual polish itself so for the top part of the shoe you simply squeeze it again and just lightly drag it over just to pick those little water marks up Uh, that's the beginning of a nice ball so what we need to do now is just continue with that for a few more hours maybe even half an hour or more uh, and we'll start to see a much deeper darker gloss finish in the shine it's up to you how far you take it some people just like it to this sort of level where it's not too much some people like a really deep parade style shine and that is a completely different level bear in mind that once you start doing this you need to maintain it at this level if you wanted to just revert to brushing your poly uh, you just want to go back to reverting to uh, brushing your shoes with a polish and a brush it wouldn't have any detrimental effect to the shoe but if you've been bullying them for a long while and then you want to revert back because the sheer layers of wax on the shoes sometimes that can cause you problems and here we are the finished finished shine um, and as you can see this is only after about an hour and a half with another few little sessions like that on them they would be immaculate there we go simple mirror shine Take care.